What's going on guys, GeothomeGRC.com. So, we got the Red Cat Lightning EPX Drift. This is a 1 tenth scale brushed vehicle. I did choose the blue one. I've had the red one before. It was, a, it was a drift one as well. So it does come with the plastic tires. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna get one of these at OMGRC.com. But without further ado, let's get this thing open. All right, so you can see how it's packed in there. All right, so what do you get inside this box here is, get the boring stuff out of the way first. But anyway, when it comes to your electronic speed controller, when it comes stock right now, it's gonna be that it's on nickel metal because that's the type of battery that comes with the vehicle. But if you decide to go with a LiPo battery, you'll need to move the jumper. So you'll wanna look over your instructions once you get the car anyhow. Um, it's gonna be your shock spacers. These are for tightening up the suspension, the springs on it. Um, so that's nice. Do you have that? And as far as when it comes to the antenna tube, so if you need to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and check the antenna tube on this vehicle. Anyhow, you do have a binding plug to it, just if you need to relink, rebind your receiver, or if by chance the receiver's bad or something like that, then you can bind them back up together with the radio. Uh, you do get a charger with it. So this is a ready to run. So the only thing that you do need is four AA batteries, which are gonna go into your remote itself. Speaking of remote, Take a look at it here too. Rubber grip that's on there. I do like this remote. I've never had any issues with it at all. And four double A's at the bottom. So nice on that one. And inside as well, you do have your adjustments, your on and off switch right there at the bottom. And then you have as far as reverse settings, your steering setting, dual rates and, and such on that one. So if you're not sure what some of this stuff is, you wanna check out your instructions. And also want to make sure that that lid doesn't come off like that too. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and put that aside. Uh, manual. So the manual, I'm going to go over like gear meshing and all that good fun stuff that's on there. There's a lot of good reads on there as well as far as tools that you'll need. But yeah, you can go ahead and check all that stuff out. Anyhow, these are going to be hop-ups too. This is another part of the manuals. Uh, so you uh, compatible charts you can see what will work with your vehicle depending if it's nitro or lipo or i should say uh, electric so yeah that's good i like it uh, so we do sell a lot of the electronic or the uh, hop-up parts on our website too so yeah these are just more uh, st standard parts that are on here and then additional parts that you can add to the vehicle so quite a few options when it comes to the vehicle this is a red tag that comes inside the vehicle as well just letting you know as far as when you're charging the battery things like that so uh, you'll want to check that out as well. All right, let's get on to the car itself because that's all we want to look at anyhow, right? I know I do. So um, take a look at this, just the outside of this thing here first. Hopefully, you guys can kind of see that. But it does have like, it's going to be hard to pick up here, possibly. I'm trying to see if it comes up. But it has a metallic to it. It's got a little bit of a, yeah, it looks good. Uh, you got your plastic wheels, chrome. Not a big fan of chrome, but um, still not a bad. I mean, as far as it goes, I do like it. I do have other bodies that I had chosen for this thing too. Let's even have uh, your side mirrors on there as well. And he has like a little plastic windshield wiper. So pretty cool. And you can always cut these down, but I'm gonna leave them high because I'm not sure different bodies will require different uh, size posts. So I'm not gonna chop those off as of yet. And speaking of as of yet, kind of think, okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, yeah, this is other side mirror on there. All right, so this has got a little bit of dust on it, just to let you guys know too. This one was a scratch and dent from Red Cat, and uh, that's why it's a little dusty and stuff like that. Being a dealer, I just got it a little bit cheaper, and I figured, ah, eh, I already have other bodies, and I'm not, a, I don't care, so it's all good. All right, let's get into what's underneath this thing. So let's go ahead and take a spin over on the more of the electronics on the one side. So the 540 motor that's in there, as far as the turn on it, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's got a 40 amp electronic speed controller in here, so you can run on, like I said, it's on nickel metal as of right now, because that's the battery that comes stock on it, but you can run this thing on a 2S LiPo. I've done it before on 3S, and this thing screams, but the motor won't last too long when it comes to running on 3S, so I don't really recommend it. I would just stick to what battery it comes with, or you want to get a better 2S LiPo. And as far as the antenna goes, so this is what you would use, you know, put that little antenna tube, slip that through there. You're gonna have to cut that a little bit, not this antenna, but as far as the tube itself. 
so it's a little bit shorter because it's going to rub up on the body i'm sure of it uh, your receiver here and this um, hex fly servo this is what steers your vehicle itself it's just a three kilogram so it's not very powerful but it'd probably get the job done i've had them before and i really didn't think too much of it but it might be something to upgrade down the road again you can do all kinds of little upgrades to this but let's go ahead and spin over to the other side and here we go as far as let's go ahead and get these clips out so you can see the battery that's in here pretty easy to get off of there so 2000 milliamp battery 7.2 volts so yeah these aren't nothing special but uh you know get you out there and running now these little piece these little I don't know, we'll call them tabs or something like that these parts they can be removed too so if you get a lipo battery which is going to be more it's going to be square instead of round for the most part some lipo batteries do have that where they're kind of rounded but anyway just generally speaking you can remove i would re more likely just remove these two and you can always spin these things around or whatnot so you can get your uh, lipo battery in there so and you can see the little screws on the bottom right there so you can remove them and speaking of the bottom of it too there you go as far as that chassis is actually not too bad it's it's not it's pretty rigid because it's got this um, aluminum chassis brace that's on there so very nice on that one again this thing's got all uh, it's full ball bearings which is nice on that one gonna make it run smoother and then also um, the drivetrain on here so these dog bones they're all steel so nice they're not like plastic crap or anything like that so I definitely like that and you know even just the drive shaft is aluminum too so very nice so yeah i'm gonna get this thing running here too very soon and aluminum capped shocks uh that's where you have to put the spaces in there if you need to uh, tighten firm up the suspension or so i do like it uh, of course that's why i got it but anyway um let me know let me know what you guys think about this vehicle anyhow um but i've got some different bodies for it so i'm gonna put that on there and i'll have a running video of this thing here soon I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe check us out at omgrc.com like i said i'll put the link in the description below if you want to get one of these we sell all kinds of red cat stuff along with numerous other vehicles thousands 20 plus thousand all types of stuff so anyway catch you on the next video you guys take care and thank you again for watching later